Hello, and this is Jim with a corny moment in our day in the summer sun in the year 2011. Here is a year of corn that was grown right here. Yeah, let's, let's show them all. Tony will show you the plot where it was grown. Right there, guys. Right, right there. there. Okay. And it ends up with something like that. So it's about that's a year of corn, about the size it's of a big ear. <laughs> you know, if it's a little bigger than the ear. I don't even know why they call it ear because it's... Yeah, why do they call it in here? Really high, bigger than that. But take a look at when we make these kernels come off, because all we're going to do here is we're just going to put these in baggies okay. and freeze Show them. Show them how you do that. So, so this is a bowl with another bowl in it, and mm -hmm. I think I saw Martha Stewart do this, and so we're doing it, because we're all about the Martha. So this is very simple processing. You don't have to can things or anything like that. You just slice it, and we'll end up with... A yeah, nice corny moment. Yeah. Okay. That's really cool. And here's another one. Here's another one. How many do you think we have out there? Oh, yeah, it's probably about 30 of these. Wow. Okay. You guys may not know this, but Jim is the world's greatest gardener. I just want to show some of these. He's, we've been picking and picking all this stuff. And this is like, we, you know, 20 times this summer we've already done it. Cucumbers. He grows all this stuff out on this, in this tiny garden it's really not that big and uh, the the yield is amazing I'm going to show you over here if I can hope you don't get dizzy these are uh, fresh tomatoes and in here ooh, don't make my we're making homemade tomatoes tomato basil soup with chicken broth oops sorry my hand's shaking chicken broth tomatoes and basil and onion and the onion came from our garden too somewhere there's an onion left let me see here's an onion see I have everything. I even have potatoes. Not even everything is here. <laughs> All right, Jim. Good job.